Welcome everybody, my name is Fabio Teresino and I'll be co-hosting the Indosoft Solutions for Packaging Industry webinar with the engineer Stephen Packer from Belvac Production Machinery. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome everybody and thank you for taking the time for this webinar. And uh, all attendees of this webinar will receive a copy of this PowerPoint presentation as well as the link to watch the video afterwards uh, at your own convenience. And uh, if you have any questions, you can write them at the webinar uh, panel or send it through the chat. And um, Stephen and myself will be reading the, the questions and answering them uh, by the end of the, the webinar. So talking a little bit uh, about the agenda, uh, I will provide a very, very quick company overview about Indosoft. I understand most of you, if not all of you, know Indosoft to a certain degree. Uh, then I'll talk a little bit about the trends that we have seen in the packaging market uh, and discuss the advantages uh, and the features that we implemented in the software studio uh, to fulfill the requirements from this industry. Uh, I will show you a couple of template applications that we developed uh, specifically for the packaging industry and uh, they are available to download from our website and uh, talk about a few real world applications uh, where we have case studies describing uh, real world applications developed within the software studio for the machinery uh, for the uh, packaging industry. Then uh, Stephen will talk about a real application developed by Belvac uh, within the software studio. Uh, Belvac is a leader in their uh, segments. Uh, they have most of the market share for uh, machines to do the necking of cans. And uh, he'll talk a little bit about Belvac, explain the background scenario before they came to Indosoft. And then he will demonstrate and show the application. He'll talk about the, the solution they developed within the software studio. And then he will uh, explain the benefits that both Belvac and the end users perceived after installing the system. So how Belvac also added value to their users. And uh, he'll talk a little bit about the plans for the futures enhancements that they foresee. So with no further ado, uh, just starting the agenda. Indosoft is in business since 1997. We're the first company to develop an HMI software for Windows CE, which is a standard platform for local HMIs on, on packaging machines today. We also designed the product from the ground up to be a web-based interface. So you could visualize information, not only from the local HMI, but also from remote web thing clients using just a web browser uh, or even from mobile devices like cell phones, iPads and uh, tablets and so on and so forth. And we invested a lot of R&D in database connectivity and we even rece received a patent for the technology that we developed. So for, from any device, even from a local HMI running Windows CE, you can save and retrieve data from a local or remote SQL relational database and then create dashboards and uh, OE reports, all, the, uh, all types of web reports. And we'll talk about these and provide some examples uh, in a few minutes. We have several certifications, received several awards during the past years. Uh, we are finalists, uh, finalists for the Control Engineering uh, 2012 Best HMI of the Year, and we won uh, the prize in the previous two years as well. Indosoft's headquarters are in Austin, Texas, where we have the management of the company and core developers for the product. Uh, and we have branch offices in Brazil and also in Germany for local technical support and local sales as well as a huge network of system integrators and distributors pretty much all over the world. So talking specifically about some trends that we're seeing in the packaging industry, uh, we are being bombarded by uh, system integrators that are former employees from machine manufacturers, from packaging uh, companies, 
and uh, they are pretty much uh, leveraging the expertise they have in the industry and in the process along with their not the knowledge they have within the software studio to create new applications for their former employees so new features available in the software studio like the possibility to create OE reports, web-based reports, uh, analyze the performance of the machine. Uh, all those features add value to the process and uh, uh, system engineers, application engineers, being aware of that and, and knowing the process are taking advantage the, uh, of this opportunity to offer solutions to, uh, to the machine builders. The US economy is turning up, uh, probably not as fast as most of us would like to, but we are seeing signs of growth, uh, definitely much better than 2008, 2009. Uh, China keeps growing, India keeps growing as well, pretty much all the emerging economies on the BRICS, uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, as well as some countries in the, in the Middle East. And we're seeing a lot of demand for machines, packaging machines from those emerging economies and companies in the US and all over the world are uh, using the Softweb Studio to fulfill this demand. So there is a good opportunity to grow in this market and to offer a differentiated solution for those uh, customers. We are seeing more and more regulatory enforcement. Uh, traceability and consistent report is an increasing requirement, and uh, especially in the food and drugs uh, applications, machines for uh, those industries. Uh, we are seeing the FDA 21 CFR Part 11 being more and more enforced. And in Indo Software Studio, we provide all the tools that you need to create an application completely compliant with the FDA 21 CFR Part 11 regulation, such as the event logger, which is able to save events, uh, all critical actions taken by the user uh, can be automatically logged by Indo Software Studio with timestamp, with the message, the meaning of the action, the username and station name, the user also has the option to enter a comment when acknowledging alarms, just like uh, required for the FDA regulation. And the security system provides all the features required by the regulation, including electronic signature, digital signature, password aging, using user lockout. And recently in the software Web Studio version 7, we even included the option to integrate the Active Directory from your Microsoft network with the security system of Indo Software Studio. So uh, in a very, very simple way, pretty much just selecting one option from the security system, Indosoft can use all or can have access to the users and groups and security settings from your Windows network. So if your IT administrator creates a new user or a new group or change passwords, uh, those changes are automatically reflected in your application. And you still have the option to use the built-in security system from Indosoft and create your individual groups and users and also uh, create an application compliant with the FDA 21 CFR Part 11. We are seeing uh, some standards becoming more and more popular. PACML is a strong one. Uh, it pretty much defines uh, standards for machine states and operational flow. Uh, it also covers uh, OEE, overall equipment effectiveness, root cause analysis, and defines a layout for flexible recipe schemas and common data. Uh, exchanged between the SCADA and the MES. So we designed a template application com uh, compatible with the PACML definitions, and I'll demonstrate this application in a few minutes here. Uh, also, according to the OMAC, uh, there are several large comp companies like Nestle uh, adopting these, these standards, so we're seeing more and more customers uh, following and uh, uh, requiring the HMI to support this standard. OPC remains as a strong standard in the industry as well as EtherCAT. 
uh, which is pretty much uh, a network for uh, control on the real-time control level with extremely high performance using the standard Ethernet cabling. So uh, in, in many machines where performance is required, EtherCAT is becoming a strong standard of use. And here, just a few notes that uh, uh, we we observe uh, we noticed during the last PAX Expo uh, 2011. Uh, we have seen a lot of pressure to reduce product change over time, and uh, it's a great opportunity because with the tools we have in the Software Studio, you can create reports, you can generate meaningful reports with meaningful information. Uh, measuring actual actual data from the machines so the plant supervisor the, the uh, manager uh, could analyze this information and find out which actions should be taken to improve the effectiveness of the process so in order to in, to reduce the product changeover you need to know if it's a matter of training some operators better or uh, changing the machine or upgrading the machine or changing the cost structure for a specific products. So all this information that Indosoft can acquire and present in reports uh, is used to improve the performance of the machines, the performance of the process. And we're going to talk about some examples in Belvac is a live example uh, uh, of this. Also seeing customers requiring uh, flexible machines that are able to create, the, to manufacture different products with different uh, uh, specifications based on recipes loaded by the HMI. And connectivity is key. Uh, we're seeing more and more dif uh, different devices and, and equipment being integrated to the HMI uh, such as PLCs or vision systems, motion controllers, barcode readers. Uh, even at the Belvec application, they have a back-off PLC as well as a Contralogics PLC connected to the HMI and a, a light tester also connected to the HMI through a serial interface. So Indosoft is posed in, in a very strategic position because we have the openness in the HMI and all those drivers and all those interfaces to integrate different equipment from different manufacturers, uh, whether they are vision systems, PLCs, motion controllers, barcode readers, or any other kind of equipment that provides a communication interface. We also noticed that uh, we didn't see any single uh, vendor demonstrating a really sophisticated 3D flashy graphics interface. The focus seems to, to be on the ease of use for the operator. Uh, so simpler screens, but uh, easy to navigate, easy to operate with high performance and with the information that the operator needs when they need. So uh, in that sense, those are the features that we are focusing on the product to increase the performance, uh, allowing you to create interfaces that meet uh, the end user's expectations. And Rocco obviously remains a very strong player in the market, but it was noticeable that they are, their market share is decreasing significantly. So less than 50% of the HMIs on the show uh, were using a Rockwell software, uh, which is a huge decline from years ago. So we believe that customers are looking for alternatives that are more flexible, able to integrate different uh, equipment from different uh, vendors and also more affordable solutions. Having said that, talking, uh, let's talk about the advantages that Indus Software Studio brings to this industry. Uh, first of all, it is an easy to use HMI SCADE MES OE solution. So uh, even at Belvec, when we first met them, uh, they were evaluating different solutions, including the Rockwell solution. And I remember they were using four or five different packages from Rockwell. One for the HMI, another one for database connectivity, another one for MES, another one for OPC, and then a, a, another driver for Twincat. So 
they had about five or four different packages that had to be installed individually, licensed individually, and integrated uh, to create a complete package. And within the software studio, they just had to install one single package, in, license one single package, and all the features are integrated in a single development environment. Anything from database connectivity, support for web thing clients, support for mobile devices, OPC clients, more than 240 drivers to different PLCs, different protocols, a built-in uh, protocol analyzer to monitor the communication with the PLCs. Uh, we offer also the online configuration, so you could connect, uh, you could run the application on the machine and make changes from a remote computer. And when you save the changes in the soft, download the changes and the runtime station takes the changes on the fly. So you do not have to shut down the machine. And also all those features and all those applications can be deployed on any Microsoft platform. So we have a lot of portability to design applications, objects, templates, and deploy them on different platforms from Windows Mobile to Windows CE, Windows Embedded, Windows 7, all the way up to Windows 2003 or 2008, both 32 and 64 bits. And from the deployment point of view, you can download the application to blind devices, embedded devices running Windows CE or Windows Embedded, or local HMIs running Windows CE, Windows Embedded, or Windows XP, Windows 7 or even to regular computers. If you have a larger system, you can also download the application to any computer running a Windows operating system. And uh, Indosoft is also supported on the cloud. So you can deploy the application on the cloud and then have web thin clients, have thin clients connected to the application that's running either on the cloud or on your local machine on premises, either way. And Indosoft supports three types of thin clients where you do not have to install in the software studio the license or the application on the thin client station so in the web thin client you just need a web browser internet explorer and from the browser you can access the runtime application from the machine or from the cloud and visualize online data in real time or history data and each web thin client has uh, his or her own instance and each user can visualize a different screen at the same time. Secure Viewer is very popular and very powerful when you need more than one HMI on the same state on the same machine, uh, especially for large machines where you have, let's say, one HMI on the front and another HMI on the rear. Instead of installing two HMIs uh, with two uh, and install the product on both HMIs and license both HMIs. You could install everything in just one HMI, and the second one is just a secure viewer that connects to the first runtime and provides another graphical interface to the user. So you can have two or more graphical interfaces on the machine, but remain with just one HMI actually running the software, which is a very flexible and affordable solution when you need more than one uh, HMI for the same machine. And Studio Mobile Access is our solution to provide information in real time to mobile devices like cell phones and tablets. Anything from iPhones, iPads, Androids, Blackberries, any device with a web browser. We also kept 100% of compatibility with any applications created in any previous versions of the product. So in this slide, the screenshot you see is a real uh, a screenshot from a real application created back in 1997 uh, with the version 1.0 of the product running on Windows CE, on the, the old Cassiopeia device with Windows CE 1.0. And we literally just copied the application files to a new computer running Windows 7 within the Software Studio version 7. And the same application runs there with 100% of compatibility. So it means that you can protect your investment when you design the application and you have portability to move the application to new platforms when the old platforms become obsolete or for any other reason. 
and you do not have to redesign the project you do not have to redesign the application you have the flexibility to keep the original application and just migrate to different uh, software platforms or to different hardware manufacturers which is not true when you use proprietary systems uh, where you, you typically uh, the software is aligned to the to the hardware and when the hardware becomes obsolete you have to redesign the software to uh, migrate this application to a new platform we also uh, have connectivity to any sql relational database like sql server oracle sybase mysql it's very simple to integrate in the software databases and you can create many different types of dashboards oe reports statistical reports pareto graphs and uh, belvec will be able to demonstrate some real ones that were developed for their application talking about connectivity we have more than 240 native communication drivers to different protocols anything from standard protocols like modbus or uh, protocols supported by uh, all the major manufacturers like Omron, Beckhoff, Alan Bradley, Bosch, Siemens, Schneider, GE, Mitsubishi, even standard protocols like DeviceNet, Profbus, Can, Can Open. We have all those drivers built in in the product. So it's very easy to integrate in all different devices that support those protocols. And in addition to the native drivers, we have also the OPC client modules built in the product for all the OPC major specifications, including OPC DA, OPC XML, OPC.NET, former XI, and OPC UA as well. Recently, we included in the product support for SSL when sending emails. So you can configure the application to send alarms, for example, uh, to your cell phone or to your uh, email account. Uh, automatically so you can receive remote notification even through your gmail or hotmail accounts and multi-language has been supported by the product for several years but recently in version 7 we included the ability to uh, translate the application for you automatically so on the development environment you can click on the button auto translate and Indosoft will connect to the Google API on the web and translate all the text used in the application automatically. And then you can modify the translation, maybe fix some technical uh, content. And then during the runtime, the user can switch to any different languages, even if they are not connected to the internet, even if they are running in standalone mode. And since Indosoft is a Unicode compliant interface, we support even Chinese, Japanese, any kind of, uh, any other language. Very important for machine builders that uh, ship the machines overseas. You can develop one standard application and ship this application, the, the, the machine with this application to countries that uh, have different languages. We have developed uh, different template applications. So if if we go here to the uh, Indosoft website, really quick, indosoft.com, we have a link here for packaging. And here we talk about the Indosoft packaging solution. And at the end, there is a link to download the PackML demo application, which I have downloaded here to my computer. And I can run it. And when I click here on PacML, we provide you with a standard diagram with the PacML states and commands. So just to simulate some commands here, I can uh, change the, the system to automatic. So it goes to the aborted mode. If I clear the E stop button, it goes to clearing and eventually stopped. Then if I reset, it goes to resetting and eventually idle. And then I can start the process, it is starting, and then eventually execute the production. Then I can, uh, for instance, uh, change to product uh, hold, it's holding and held. If I go back to uh, ready, it goes back to production. Same thing here for product loads, 
if I change to starving, starved, it goes to suspended. If I go back to ready, it goes back to producing. And eventually I can click cycle stop and it goes to the completed uh, uh, state. So using this application, you can go through all the states and you can use this template in real world applications uh, to monitor the state of the process, the state of the machine. You can just download this uh, template from the Indosoft website free of charge. And here on the application, uh, we created one function called PackML that pretty much uh, simulates all the steps in the logic that should be eventually on the controller, on the PLC. But you can use this application to simulate the process and eventually the graphical interface to monitor the states from the machines. Another template we made available on our website is here under solutions, OE dashboard. And here we talk about the OE solution. And if you click on this uh, link here, you can download the OE application to your computer. I have also downloaded this application so I can demonstrate it during the webinar. And by running the application, it's going to start the web server. It's a web-based application. And if I click here in plant, I can see the OE template and you see all the graphical interface for OE. Uh, and I believe most of you are familiar with OEE, but it uh, stands for Overall Equipment Effectiveness. And the whole idea is to measure uh, the effectiveness of a process or from a machine uh, based on three key performance indicators, three KPIs, availability, performance, and quality. And each one of those KPIs are measured from zero to 100%. Availability has to do on, on how much time the machine was operating, was running, versus how many times the machine was programmed to run. So if you run, for instance, two shifts a day, uh, so the machine was supposed to be running 16 hours a day, and uh, the machine had a downtime of eight hours in that day because it was broken and had to be uh, fixed, then your availability is 50%. So we pretty much compare the uptime that the machine was actually running versus the uptime that the machine was supposed to be running. And it gives us the availability from zero to 100%. Performance measures how fast the machine is running. So uh, based on the theoretical number of throughput of the machine, we, call, we actually measure how many total units, how many pieces, are being produced by the machine and uh, compare that with the theoretical throughput. So for instance, if the machine was supposed to produce 100 pieces per minute and it's producing 80, your performance is 80%. And quality has to do with the number of good units versus the total units pr uh, produced by the machines. So we eliminate the scraps. So if you produce 1000 pieces a day, uh, but uh, 100 were scraps, then your quality is 90%. You multiply those three KPIs and you have your OEE uh, value. And in this template, we have the graphical interface where you can see the OEEs. We have the functions to calculate OEEs, uh, the, the OE for different lines, different machines automatically on the fly. You can also select a different period of time and analyze how your OE variables change over time uh, to find profiles like, for instance, if uh, specific shifts are more productive than others, if particular machines are more productive than others. You can filter the information you show on the graph and even drive conclusions such as if I keep increasing my performance, the speed of the machine, the quality goes down and you can find here the limit where the, the speed is fast enough and you still reach your target OE. So all those conclusions can be automatically uh, uh, reached just by analyzing the information provided by the templates. And again, those templates are available to download free of charge from the Indusoft website.
talking about some real world solutions, real world applications. We have here uh, this example from Stock America. They designed uh, a sterilization system for machines in the food and, and beverage uh, industry. Uh, so the whole application is 100% compatible with the FDA 21 CFR Part 11. It is FDA compliance, compliant. Uh, Graham Engineering, uh, this is a case study that we recently uh, released. Uh, they designed a, a whole new system for blow molding machines within the Softweb Studio. They even received some awards for the system. Uh, and they communicate in the soft running on HMIs with uh, TwinCat PLCs. And MPI, the, the reason I like uh, this application is for its consistency. So if you see all the screens, they follow the same scheme of colors, the same navigation style. And it was actually created as a template. So they designed one master application with all those navigation buttons and, and uh, internal functions and linked symbols. And whenever they have a new project, it's very simple and very fast for them to customize the application for the specific needs of one customer. So they do not have to redesign the application from the scratch whenever they have a new system. And all their applications are pretty much uh, follow the same consistent look and feel. With uh, having said that, I will pass the control to Stephen uh, Packer, the engineer from Belvac Pro Production Machinery, and uh, he'll talk a little bit about the uh, real application designed by Belvac with Indosoft Web Studio. Stephen, whenever you're ready. Very good. Well, uh, welcome again. Uh, as Fabio said, my name is Steve Packer. I'm the electrical engineer here at uh, Belvac. Belvac uh, is located uh, in Lynchburg, Virginia, where we have our headquarters and our only manufacturing site. We do have Sorry, uh, sales and service uh, out of Czechoslovakia for the European and uh, Russian uh, market. And then we have the sales, excuse me, the service uh, area out of uh, Egypt for the Middle East. Sorry, Steve. We just opened up uh, a sales office in China. Sorry, Steve, really quick, do, uh, do you mind to you share your desktop, please? Oh, I thought I did. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. No problem. There you go. Now we can see it. Thank you. Okay. Is that okay now? Uh, yes. Okay. You can see the presentation. So, uh, and then we're just opening up a, uh, a sales office in China and hope to uh, expand that to a service in China due to uh, the volume that we're, of machines that we're selling there. As Fabio also said, we are uh, we do manufacture high-speed equipment uh, for the canning industry. Uh, and when I say canning, I mean uh, two-piece cans, where you have the body of the can and the lid. Uh, the lid is the most expensive part of the can, so uh, it is uh, important to try to reduce the size, uh, the diameter of that lid. So our primary machine is called a necker because it uh, necks down or reduces the diameter of that open end of the can. And then it also flares the top to uh, prepare the lid for uh, for that. So uh, you know, just a, a quick little picture there of uh, one of our machines. Uh, you see the yellow dies. Uh, the cans are uh, taken along that machine in, in kind of a uh, serpentine uh, manner with vacuum. And those yellow dyes are what, uh, at very high speeds, form that necking part uh, of the can and, and eventually shape it. So if the, uh, if the, the can maker needs to uh, shape that, neck that can down dramatically, then they'll have more of these uh, necking modules on their machine. So our, our machines are, uh, are modular and can uh, have uh, very different configurations depending on our customers' needs. Uh, the interesting thing with the necking machine is it uh, is typically the last machine to touch the can before being sent to the beverage maker. Uh, so we're putting lots of different quality checks uh, within our machines. So there's uh, different um, cameras set up 
throughout the machine uh, to, uh, to look for different uh, quality defects. And they were also have a, a very unique uh, module in our machine for light testing. Uh, we can actually find holes down to uh, 4 thousandths of an inch in diameter. Uh, it always marvels me when, uh, when we put our test cans in that have these tiny little test holes in there, we can literally fill that can up with water even though it has that little hole in it. That, that hole is actually too small for water to pass through, but we can detect that uh, as that small hole as it's passing through uh, our machine. And uh, our machines run anywhere between uh, 1,800 and uh, 3,000 cans per minute. Uh, we're currently designing a newer style machine for 3,600 cans per minute. So uh, right now, like I said, our top speed is 3,000 cans per minute. So every time you say one 1,000, that's, uh, of course, 50 cans just went by. And uh, we're tracking each one of those as they're uh, passing along our, our machine. Uh, our machine, our metros are typically much faster, uh, multiple times faster than some of the upstream equipment. So our can our customers uh, might have uh, up to five or six um, machines that form the can and uh, say six or seven uh, machines that spray the inside of the can. So um, what we do then is use the canning industry standards to read uh, which of those uh, upstream equipment that each individual can has passed through uh, by using uh, you know, some high speed vision equipment and read the body maker ID and also the, uh, the color spray dot from uh, the inside spray machine. And uh, so we've developed a system that will allow us uh, to use that data and correlate it uh, for our rejects. So we can tell the can maker uh, that body maker 23 has more rejects in our light tester than any of the other body makers. Or the spray machine uh, number five that uses the yellow spray dot, that has more rejects than anything else as far as uh, looking at the inside of the camera with our vision inspection uh, for defects on the, the spray. So uh, again, uh, we were already using Intisoft on some smaller uh, equipment uh, that we sell. And so uh, we were familiar with them and, and the flexibility that they offer. But then when we needed to integrate that to HMI and have the data feed into uh, a relational database, uh, Intisoft was a very easy choice for us to make. And, um, so we uh, contracted with them and uh, we essentially built the HMI and they uh, were terrific in, uh, in creating the database and the interaction with that database, feeding that information uh, again at very high speed. So what we've done uh, look through. This is uh, looking at a uh, the machine, uh, the operator screen, the main operator screen uh, for our Necro machine. Uh, as you see here, it hits uh, all sorts of different error messages uh, right now, and it lines that is with uh, saying that the ink feed and the discharge are all okay, and the different consumables being uh, wax or uh, the grease system that we use on our machine, all those levels are okay. Uh, we can put the, um, this, we can start the start stop the blowers from this machine and put the necker in a different mode and uh, it gives the operator uh, you know, an idea of you know, how fast the machine's going and how many cans have been uh, come in and, and left the necker uh, for that shift. Uh, at a very quick touch, we can. Uh, go over to change the different speeds, uh, look at the, the light tester, and go into you know, some, some menus here for the light tester and set up things. I guess that's not currently working because I'm actually physically not hooked up to a, a light tester. Um, but 
the what you're here to hear about is, is what we refer to as our um, um, intelligent manufacturing system. And what that is is that uh, the value added uh, package where we're able to tell the hand producer uh, that some of the upstream equipment is is uh, causing as far as rejects on our machine. So this right here, this is a Pareto that was created for the different body makers that are feeding this particular machine. And it doesn't seem at, at this point that any one is standing out uh, more than the others. Uh, so they're all fairly even as far as the number of rejects. But on occasion, they'll have, you know, say, body maker five uh, be very, uh, you know, very much out of line as far as the others are concerned. And we would be able to direct um, the maintenance folks from that uh, from the plant to go look at body maker five, even though it's you know, it's not part of our equipment. We're just reading the can and being able to correlate the rejects from our machine uh, uh, with the body makers or the, the spray machine. So we can look at uh, our own machine, uh, you know, with which turret that the um, like I mentioned, the different modules that we have. Um, if uh, a can is dropped uh, on a different on different modules, uh, we track that and we can tell you know the, the maintenance folks again that uh, there seems to be a problem on turret six. We're dropping more cans there than, than we would expect, uh, and then we can look at uh, the different spray uh, inside sprays. We so uh, and the other interesting thing we could do is, uh, I don't have any setup for this machine here, but uh, the rules that we can set up for the, um, for the system, we can say that uh, if you have more than uh, five rejects from the same turret uh, you know, in, in five minutes, then stop the machine or send an email or something to that effect. Uh, very flexible in, in how we make those rules. So whatever the uh, whatever our customer requires, we can we can have some, a great deal of flexibility with that. Um, so what this system has done uh, is provided Goodyear, I'm sorry, provided Belvac with uh, a, a very value added. Um, uh, item that we can really differentiate ourselves from our competition. It's giving our customers uh, a level of service that no one else is providing them. Uh, we can, uh, you know, again, look at not only our machine, how it's performing, but also um, show, point them to other machines that uh, are upstream of our equipment that uh, affect the, uh, the overall efficiency of their plan. Um, I do, we do use um, Indusoft's uh, template for the OE parameters. So you see here that we can uh, look at you know, whatever time or date that we want and um, show that, let me just change the date here, very simply, and look at the month to date. shows them the, the overall um, activity uh, of the machine itself. So yeah, uh, again, in, in summary here, Bellback uh, is able to provide uh, our customers with something that's, that's very different from, from what our other uh, competition is able to do and uh, keeps us uh, at a very competitive advantage. Uh, one thing that we're uh, very, very excited about is uh, what we're going to be launching in the next month or so is a web based uh, on the cloud, uh, a web based application that uh, is the same intelligent manufacturing system. But uh, what we've done is we've partnered with uh, Indusoft again, and they helped us to develop uh, a, a cloud based system where each of the machines that have this intelligent manufacturing system installed on it, uh, that will, every five minutes, send up data to uh, the cloud through FTP and uh, put it on its own, that machine.
machine owns a SQL database there on the cloud. And what that allows us to do is you, know, you don't have to be at the machine then to look at uh, all the trending and, and the data that's available at the machine. You can uh, be at your desk, you can be at the beach, you can be whatever, as long as you have access to the internet and um, be able to log into uh, Belvac's website and uh, you know, be able to look at your specific machine. So that uh, not only enables our customers to um, you know, look at and monitor their own performance, but also uh, our service people and our engineers can uh, continually monitor uh, these machines and again provide uh, some real, uh, real, real help in diagnosing their problems. Uh, even if our customers aren't looking at their data all the time, uh, we can set up a service that uh, we'll say that we'll send them reports uh, periodically and, and let them know uh, where they might be having trouble on uh, either our machine or uh, the upstream equipment. So again, a, a very powerful tool and uh, we'll be implementing that either uh, at the end of this month or early in December. So very, very excited about that and um, you know, could not have pulled it off as uh, seamlessly as we have uh, without any soft help. Can you think of anything that uh, I might have glanced over? Uh, you, would you mind to uh, show a little bit the documents interface for maintenance? Uh, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Uh, so here, and I know on uh, different uh, Rockwell products, it's very difficult to get to uh, the PDFs. They're only now uh, coming out with that with, uh, I think, their panel view, their latest panel view. But um, we can easily show here any kind of PDF, so open that up, and here's our uh, user guide for our light vector. So you can scroll down and uh, you know, show whatever uh, parts that they need to uh, replace anything, or however, we can have our schematics in PDF format, or our user guides, or our maintenance uh, uh, manuals, things of that nature, uh, right here. Very well, Stephen. Well, thank you so much. It was excellent, and uh, I appreciate your help and and sharing all this information with all of, all of us. And uh, uh, just to conclude here, uh, you have here information on how to contact Indusoft, and we still have about ten minutes for Q and A. If you have any questions, feel free to write them uh, on the chat there uh, or on the question box, and I'll be more than happy to address them. So one question that is uh, recurring here is about security when you create the system on the cloud. And uh, pretty much in, in the software studio, we have developed many, many tools and built-in interfaces, and most of them behind the scenes to make sure that the connection between the web thing clients and uh, the server is as secure as possible. So for instance, if you come here to project thing clients, you can enable here the SSL security SOC layer, then the connection between the web thing clients and the server on the cloud will be encrypted using the standard HTTPS protocol. And uh, this is the same kind of technology that banks use, for example, when you have the remote connection, uh, when you use online banking to connect to their servers. Uh, and the, the web cloud solution from Indosoft and even what Belvec developed is quite similar as well in the sense that using the built-in security system from Indosoft, you can create users on the fly and when a user connects with the web thing client, he or she must log on to get any connection to the system. And based on the rights of that user, we filter the information that is meaningful or, or that is available for that particular user. So Belvec has this server on the cloud collecting data from many different sites, from different machines and consolidating this data 
in, in a single database so it, they, they can even run some statistics comparing different sites, different machines. But when an end user logs to the system, logs to the server on the cloud from a browser, from a web thin client, uh, the Belvec application automatically filters the information that is from the machines that are associated with that user. And this uh, filtering is very simple to do in Indosoft, it's pretty much immediate. And uh, again, it's very similar to the online banking uh, uh, approach. When you log on to your bank account, uh, you have information about your accounts, but not from all the other users. Same thing here on the cloud solution from Indosoft. And now we're approaching uh, pretty much the, the end of the webinar. So I'd like to thank you, uh, thank first you, Steve, very much for your uh, clear presentation and for sharing uh, all the information about the process and the, proce and the project uh, with us. And uh, thank everybody else on the webinar. We're going to make this PowerPoint presentation as well as the video uh, with the audio available to download from our website. And uh, I expect to see you again in the next Indosoft webinars. Thank you, everybody, and have a great day.